In this video, I will show you how to install Night Trucks on a USB drive. And this will not be a live USB drive meant primarily for testing. This will be a full Linux installation on a USB drive. And that means that you can update the system and everything you do or change on the USB drive will be saved back to the drive. This is not the first time that I'm installing a full Linux distro on a USB drive. For instance, in a previous video, I showed you how to install BlackArch, a Linux distribution meant for security research with a ton of penetration testing tools. So if you want to use full BlackArch on a USB drive yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. Nitrox, powered by Debian, KDE Plasma and Frameworks and App Images. And here you can see how the desktop looks like. Nitrox is more or less doing its own thing in the Linux desktop space. They're using their own MAUI kit and MAUI applications and they also built their own MAUI shell, which they call a convergent shell for multiple form factors, which basically means that you could run MAUI shell on any screen of any size and it should automatically adapt to the size. So it looks like the big picture here would be to run it on any platform, including mobile, probably. If you want to know more about MAUI shell, I made a video about how to run the MAUI shell inside a Docker container and display the full desktop on Windows. So if you're interested how that works, you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Another interesting thing about Nitrux is that they actively promote app images, which is also visible at the top of their website. I'm not aware of any other distro that is doing that. Most distros support app images, but they don't promote them. Now, if you never use app images, they're like standalone executables. You can copy paste them anywhere and basically execute them wherever you like, in a way similar like exe files on Windows. Now, without further ado, let's see how to install that one. First, let's find the ISO. Here it is. Let's download it and download. It has 3.1 gigabytes. Download complete. And here is the ISO. Now this is the ISO with the live environment and first we need to flash this one on a USB drive. And then as always we will use this USB drive to install Nitrux on a second USB drive. So yes, again, we will need two USB drives. The first USB drive with this ISO can be any off the shelf stick, it doesn't really matter. But the second one with the full Nitrux installation should be a more faster one. It should have a decent read-write speed, otherwise the whole system will be very slow and you will get really frustrated. And it doesn't matter if you have the newest machine, if the USB drive with the operating system is the bottleneck. So get a decent USB drive. I'm using one with 128GB and you can find the referral link down in the description. Now with that said, let's flash this one on the first USB drive and therefore we will use a tool called Rufus. This is Rufus, the official website, and I use this tool in almost every Linux installation video so far, so if you've been following me then you already know how this one works. Scroll down, click on the download link, download complete, and here it is. Now plug in the first USB drive, the off-the-shelf stick, I will do it as well. It already recognized my USB drive, and now select the ISO, this is it, open, leave everything else on default, and press start. Now here we want to select DD image mode, and OK. And now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted, so if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue. And now let's wait. Finished, let's close it. The USB drive with the live environment is now ready and now we need to boot into it. In case you don't know how to boot from a USB drive, you plug in the USB drive, you restart the system and then while the system is restarting you press one of the function keys, usually it's F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer and then you should get the boot menu and inside the menu select the USB drive and it should boot into it. I will do the same on my machine as well and I'll see you in the live environment. And here we are inside the Nitrux live environment. 
And now it's the right time to plug in the second USB drive where we will install the full night trucks on. I will do it as well. This is not the full installation. This one is only for testing. And it also contains the installer. So let's run this one. Install night trucks. So first we need to connect to the internet. So let's do it. I'm now connected to the internet and the message is gone. So let's go next. Now select your region. I will go with this one. And let's go with... Vienna seems nice. And next. Keyboard is OK. Now fill out your user information. Give your user a password. I will also give the root user a password. And next. Now here, on the storage device, select the USB drive that we previously plugged in. In my case, this is the one. And now select Manual Partitioning. And next. Here, select New Partition Table. GUID Partition Table, or GPT and OK. Now select free space and go create. The first partition will be the EFI partition and it should occupy 500 megabytes. File system should be FAT32, mount point, boot slash EFI, and it should have the boot flag. OK. Now again, click on free space and create. The second partition will be the root partition. It should occupy all the rest of the space. File system should be, in my case, X4. If you want, you can encrypt the partition, but I will leave it as it is. Mount point should be root or slash, and it should have the root flag. And OK. Perfect, we are done partitioning. Let's go next. Now here you can see a quick summary what will be done. Now I need to mention that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue and install. Install now. And now let's wait. Perfect, all done. Now we can reboot and boot into Night Trucks. Again, while the system is restarting, you need to open the boot menu and select the newly installed USB drive. I will do the same on my machine as well, and I'll see you after the reboot. And here we are, this is now Night Trucks running from the USB drive. Now let's see what we have. I will open Settings, and down here we have About This System. Now as you can see, we are running the kernel version 6.4, and not the standard kernel, but a variant that's designed for low latency and high responsiveness. It's actually nice to see this one here. I also wanted to see the memory consumption. Is there HTOP installed? Yes, there is. Now, as you can see, we are running at 1.65 gigabytes of RAM, which is a bit high for a Linux desktop, but it's not too bad. And now one interesting thing about the desktop, the close, minimize and maximize button are up there in the top bar, which is more Mac-like and actually reminds me of the Unity desktop. And one additional thing that I didn't mention, the distribution is based on Debian. And so you would expect that you can do sudo apt update. But actually you can't. Nitrox has an immutable file system. The only thing you can install are system updates or applications using app images. And to install applications, you have a dedicated NX software center. And now here you can install your favorite applications. Let's say for instance, Blender, here it is. And now you can install it as an app image from the app image hub. This immutable file system approach is getting really popular these days. On those systems, you usually see Flatpak, but in this case, you see app images. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get, and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much, and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. I also like these window animations. Speaking of Windows, in a previous video I showed you how you can snap and tile Windows on the GNOME desktop environment. So if you're interested how you can tile Windows on GNOME, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video then like and subscribe, and if you really like the video you also have a super thanks down there, where you can buy me a coffee for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.